we have a police cruiser that's approaching a right angled intersection from the north. So let's start by trying to generate a picture here. So we have this policeman. It's approaching an intersection. But it's approaching from the north. So my policeman is traveling this direction. Chasing a speeding car that has turned the corner and is now moving due east. So this would be the direction of my, my car that the policeman is chasing. When the cruiser is 0.6 miles north of the intersection, the car is 0.8 miles to the east. And at that moment, radar determines that the distance between the police cruiser and the speeding car is increasing at a rate of 20 miles an hour. So on my diagram, the distance between the policeman and the car at any given time would be represented here uh, by the hypotenuse of a right triangle. All right. If the cruiser is traveling 60 miles an hour at that moment, then what is the speed of the car? All right, so we've got our diagram. Now we want to actually label it. We want to read carefully again and always pause the video as necessary to give you time to reread and decide what's changing and what's staying constant. So in this particular case, we have actually a lot of quantities that are changing. The intersection, I'll put here as this dot, uh, the distance between the policeman and the intersection is changing. So I'm going to label this length x the distance between the policeman and the intersection. But the car is also moving away from the intersection, so the distance between the car and the intersection is changing. And then likewise, as the policeman moves towards the intersection and the car moves away, the distance physically between the policeman and the car is also changing, so I'll call that z. So we have three sides of a right triangle, all of which are changing. Now we want to read again and try to identify some numerical information in the problem. So it says, when the cruiser is 0.6 miles to the north, the car is 0.8 miles to the east. So you need to ask yourself, is the policeman always 0.6 miles to the north? Or again, is that changing? And, and the answer to that would be no, the policeman is not always 0.6 miles to the north. There will just be one instant when the policeman is 0.6 miles to the north of the intersection and the car is 0.8 miles to the east. So that information actually is going to come down here as part of our find statement. We always write find something when something or find blank when blank. So when the cruiser is 0.6 miles to the north, that would be when x is 0.6. At that instant, we also know that the car is 0.8 miles to the east. So that would also be a second part to this when statement. We could say and y is 0.8. So when the policeman is 0.6 miles from the intersection and the car is 0.8 miles from the intersection, we will be looking for the speed of the car. All right, keep reading. It says, at that moment, radar determines that the distance between the police cruiser and the speeding car is increasing at a rate of 20 miles an hour. Notice again that keyword, rate. Okay, so this is going to be uh, a derivative, a rate of change, and it's the rate at which the distance between the policeman and the car is changing. And on your diagram, that distance is labeled as z. So we could go ahead and identify that dz, dt, the rate at which the distance between the policeman and the car is changing, that's going to be 20 miles an hour. All right. So what else do we know? What, what have we not used? We haven't used this 60 miles an hour yet. It says the cruiser is traveling 60 miles an hour. And it's implied here that the cruiser is going to be um, staying at this speed. It's a constant speed, so he's always going to be traveling 60 miles an hour. So that's how fast the policeman is moving. So again, on the diagram, that would be the rate at which this distance x is changing. But notice, 60 miles an hour really is the speed, the speed of the policeman. And if we think about this as a rate, if the policeman is moving towards the intersection, as denoted by these arrows, that's telling you that this length is actually decreasing. So when we label the rate at which x is changing, because the length x is actually decreasing and getting smaller, then we would want to attach a negative here for this rate. This would be negative 60 miles per hour. The rate at which x is changing is negative 60 miles per hour. And now all that's left is to find uh, or fill in the find statement. And the question here says, what is the speed of the car? 
So the distance between the car and the intersection is labeled as y. So we're looking for the rate at which y is changing, and that would be dy dt, which we expect to be a positive number because, again, the car is speeding away from the intersection, so the distance from the intersection is increasing. So that's a pretty complicated setup, um, but the hard part's over. We have our diagram nicely labeled, we've identified all of the numerical information, and we know what we're trying to find. So now we just need the relationship between the variables. And since our diagram here is a right triangle, and we're looking at the three sides of a right triangle, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem for this diagram would be x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. And now we're going to go ahead and differentiate with respect to time. So I'm going to take the derivative of the left side of this equation and the derivative of the right side of the equation with respect to time. So remember we're using implicit differentiation here. So the derivative of x squared is not just 2x, but we also chain on the derivative of excuse me, with the derivative of x, not z there, the derivative of x with respect to time, which would be dx dt, plus the derivative of y squared is 2y, but again, we're chaining on the derivative of y with respect to t, or dy dt. So this is equal to 2z dz dt. So we've taken our derivative. And now we're basically going to just um, substitute in all the, the numerical information that was given. So we knew that x, we were looking for x to be 0.6 when the cruiser was 0.6 miles north of the intersection. We know how uh, the rate at which x is changing, we labeled that as negative 60. dx dt was negative 60 plus 2 our y value was 0.8. The car was going to be 0.8 miles from the intersection. dy dt is our unknown. That's what we're solving for. The rate at which the distance between the car and the intersection is changing. And then we have 2. Notice we don't know the z value at that instant. Uh, but we did label that dz dt, which was given, the rate at which z was changing, was 20. So we do have this gap here. Okay, we have this hole. We don't have this value. In other words, we need the z value here. So at the instant that x is 0.6 and that y is 0.8, we need to figure out what z is. So we kind of have to say time out right now and let's go off to the side here and see if we can figure this out. So looking at our equation, which was x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. Let's substitute these values in. We're saying when x is 0 0.6, so that's 0 0.6 squared, plus y was 0 0.8, so 0 0.8 squared is equal to z squared, and then go ahead and solve here, solve for z. So if you crunch your numbers, we should end up with z is equal to 1. So now I can go back here into my, my big equation and I can go ahead and input my value for z at that instant, which is going to be 1. And now we'll go ahead and multiply. So you're just going to go ahead and, and multiply through here. 2 times 0 0.6 times negative 60. On the right hand side you'll multiply 2 times 1 times 20. And we're going to solve for dy dt. So this will give us negative 72 plus 1.6 dy dt is equal to 40. Then if you go ahead and add 72 to both sides and divide by 1.6, it looks like our result, dy dt, is equal to 70. Now we do need to attach units. So again, thinking about your numerator and your denominator here, we're looking at the relationship between y and t. And if you need to go back to your diagram, Looking at my diagram, again, y was a distance, and we were measuring that distance in miles, and then time was measured in hours. 
So this would be 70 miles per hour. And notice that we did get a positive rate, which should make sense because the car was moving away from the intersection. So that distance was increasing. So to finish it off, your final sentence, you could say, at the moment that the policeman is 0.6 miles north of the intersection and the car is 0.8 miles to the east of the intersection, we know that the speed of the car is 70 miles an hour.